Here is a quick tutorial covering the functionality of the Gizmo Swapper plugin for ZBrush 4R8. The Gizmo Swapper plugin will allow you to use a separate Gizmo manipulator for move, scale, and rotate. Now, when you're using ZBrush by default and you switch to move, scale, or rotate, you'll be given the universal Gizmo 3D manipulator. Now, this manipulator will contain all the functions of move, scale, and rotate together. So, with it, you can move, scale, and rotate all at the same time. Now with the Gizmo Swapper plugin installed, when you switch to move, scale, or rotate using a hotkey, it is going to switch to a separate manipulator for each of those processes. So if you select move, it's going to only give you the move manipulator. If you select scale, it's only going to give you the scale manipulator. And if you select rotate, it's only going to give you the rotate manipulator. So using this plugin, you can now tailor your move, scale, and rotate to only function with one manipulator. So instead of having the universal manipulator that allows you to move, scale, and rotate all at the same time, you can now isolate this to separate manipulators. Now after you have the Gizmo Swapper plugin copied to your ZBrush directory, you need to now set it up inside of ZBrush. To do this, you need to navigate to the Z plugin tab here, and then open up the miscellaneous utilities area. In here, you'll see there is an install Gizmo, an uninstall Gizmo, and then move, scale, and rotate buttons. The first thing you need to do in order to have the Gizmo Swapper work is you need to set these buttons here to the hotkeys of W, E, and R. So hovering over the Move button here, you want to hold down the Control and Alt key on your keyboard and then click and then press W. You want to then hover over Scale, hold down Control, Alt, and click, and then press E, and then hover over Rotate, press Control, Alt, and click, and then press R. So now you should have the hotkey for this move button here set to W, for the scale button set to E, and for the rotate button set to R. Now after you have these hotkeys set, you next just need to click Install Gizmo. And this will install the custom gizmos that are used for move, scale, and rotate. So clicking this button here will then give a dialog and it will just tell you that the Gizmo Swapper plugin has been installed. Now after the Gizmo Swapper plugin is installed, if you press W on your keyboard, this will shift to Move Mode, and give you the Move Gizmo 3D. If you press E, this will switch to Scale and give you the Scale Gizmo 3D. And if you press R, this will give you the Rotate Gizmo 3D. Now the functionality of the Gizmo Swapper requires you to use these hotkeys or press the buttons located in the miscellaneous utilities. So if you click Move here, you're gonna notice that your Gizmo 3D is not going to change. So you must use the hotkeys or the associated buttons over here underneath miscellaneous utilities to allow the Gizmo Swapper to function. But if you have these hotkeys set to move, scale, and rotate, when you press these hotkeys on your keyboard, it will cycle through like normal. At any time, you can still switch to the transpose line by turning off the Gizmo 3D option here or pressing Y on your keyboard, and this will still allow you to cycle through move, scale, and rotate. Now, after you have the hotkey set, you also want to make sure that you store the preferences for those hotkeys. So you want to navigate to the preference file here, you want to open the hotkeys area here, and you want to click store. And now make sure that the hotkeys you set for the move, scale, and rotate buttons here are now saved, and then when you restart ZBrush, these will still be retained. At any time, if you'd like to revert back to the universal Gizmo 3D, you simply just need to come to the miscellaneous utilities here and click uninstall Gizmo, and this will now uninstall the Gizmo Swapper plugin. And now, if you switch to move, scale, or rotate, or use the corresponding hotkeys, you'll be back to using the universal Gizmo 3D manipulator. Finally, since the Gizmo Swapper 3D is pulling from separate Gizmo files to achieve the effect, these files can also be replaced with your own custom Gizmos. So if you would like your own Gizmo for move, scale, or rotate, you can replace the files that are located in the directory for the Gizmo Swapper plugin. More information on this process can be found in the Gizmo Swapper install text file. The Gizmo Swapper can be downloaded from the Download Center at Pixelogic.com. I hope that helps, and happy ZBrushing!